Hey, very exciting stuff coming here to WTNH. Hollywood's biggest night is just a couple of weeks away. That's right, an up-and-coming film critic, Lights Camera Jackson, recently gave Marisol his predictions of who will be walking away with Oscar gold. Jackson, it's so great to have you here. Thank you very much. Straight, Good to be here. Straight out of upstate New York. You are by far and away the youngest film critic I've ever met. Uh, what kind of credentials do you have, sir? I am a member of the Broadcast Film Critics Association and SAG-AFTRA, so I just voted for the Critics' Choice Awards and the Screen Actors Guild Awards, which I love doing every year. That's always so exciting during award season. How on earth did you get into this business? I mean, you were how many? How old are you? 17. 17 and already in this yeah. business. How did, you, how did this start? I started when I was seven for a local radio station in the Albany area and I just love going to the movies. I've loved it since I was really young and sharing my opinions with them. Um, my two idols growing up, Roger Ebert and Regis Philbin. <laughs> when it comes to <laughs> film criticism and live television, they're the go-to yeah, guys. Yeah, we were just talking that uh, for folks that aren't necessarily um, sports savvy. The Oscars are our Super Bowl. They are our Super Bowl. We live and it goes it. later than that. It goes till 12 15 in the morning and we gotta stay up and watch the show and it's fun. We have our own pools. Yes. We put money on this, we do. That's right, that's yeah. right. So we were just talking earlier that uh, students at your school and schools all across the country are saying, we want the day after the Super Bowl off. And we're saying... How about the day after the Academy Awards? Because it goes until midnight. Right, it's a jam-packed show. Mm -hmm. you got to watch it intently, mm -hmm. and it's so much fun and so crazy, and who knows what can happen afterwards. Anything can happen, especially uh, this year, Chris Rock is going to be hosting. Yes. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? It'll be a very interesting monologue, obviously, with hashtag Oscars so white sure. being so prominent in the news over the last several weeks. People will watch him and then they may tune away actually. Mm -hmm. The movies this year are kind of grim and so people may not really be interested in a lot of the races except for maybe seeing Leo or things right. like that. But Chris Rock will uh, will definitely get a lot of hits on YouTube with what happens. Yeah, I, I have to say, it's not like I've ever been invited to the Oscars, mm -hmm. but if you and I ever get invited one day, yeah. um, I would never want to be in Chris Rock's field of vision. No one is safe. No one is safe. He's like Ricky Gervais. No one is safe. This is the year of the award shows where exactly, danger exactly. is there. Um, so tell me a little bit about um, you started doing radio at, at the age of seven. You're 17 now. Tell us, tell us what's on your resume because it's unbelievable. Yeah, I was on a local TV station in the Albany area for five years and I'm currently on the number one radio station on Friday mornings talking about the movies of the weekend, making predictions mm -hmm. and crazy comments and things <laughs> like that. Did anyone teach you how to do what you do? No, it just, just sort of happens that it way, I guess. It sort of happens, right? You're <laughs> yeah. either born with it or not. All right, before we go, I want to know your predictions. Let's go. Speed rounds here. Okay, let's go. Lead actor. It's DiCaprio. It's his year. I love Leo. Yeah. Uh, lead actress. Brie Larson for Room. She's a lock. You've inspired me to go watch that movie this yeah, weekend, by really the way. Yeah, really good. Uh, supporting actor. Stallone for Creed. I hope he wins. I think he will. Yes. Uh, supporting actress. It's a tough battle, but Alicia Vikander for the Danish girl. I want to see Kate Winslet mm -hmm. win, but it's Vikander. Let's let's give it up to someone new this time, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh, animated feature. Inside Out. Pixar's <gasps> back in Oscars good graces. That's probably it. the biggest lock of the night, believe it or Can not. Can I just say my kids didn't like that movie? I didn't love it. Yeah. It's long, and it was it was some of it was funny, yeah. but it, it goes in in weird directions yeah, at yeah, times. Yeah. Uh, best director? Alejandro G. and Yari two is gonna go two for two for I, the Revenant. I mean, I have to support my fellow Latinos, so <laughs> I, I'm with you on that. And best picture? It's a three movie race, and I'm gonna go with Spotlight. I really Ooh. think, yeah, I'm gonna go with Spotlight over the Big Short and over the Revenant. I just got a feeling the Revenant won't do the picture director actor thing, and the Big Short, eh. I'm going with Spotlight. It won the Critics' Choice. It won the SAG Ensemble. Spotlight's your Best Picture Oscar winner. Can you predict any crazy things that you expect to see on Oscar night? Besides Chris Rock, that's going to be tough. But mm -hmm. Stallone's speech, if he wins, will be great. Young Jacob Tremblay from Room being up on stage will be great. And the songs, you've got Lady Gaga going up against Sam Smith. Woo. We'll you see know what? what happens there. Wait, are you on Twitter? Yes. Can at, we become buddies? Yes, at LCJ Reviews on Twitter. Because I like to interact okay. with the, oh my gosh, I'm clutching my pearls as I watch the Oscars. <laughs> and Jackson, there you go. be prepared. Okay. Hold on to your, your hat. Yeah, and, yes. and send me your ballot, by myself. the way. Okay, yeah, we'll send each you're other the totally, ballots. You're totally going to beat me, but it's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. And, Thank you uh, very much. Come again. Absolutely. And good Thank luck you. with the rest of your future. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs>